Hi YouTube, hi JTV, welcome to another episode of the Albina Rhino Beer Review. I have a beer to drink right here. This is from the Amsterdam Brewing Company. Oh look, they actually changed their caps to be uh, fancier now. I actually had not noticed that. This is this year's version of the Amsterdam Orange Vice. So the Orange Vice is well, an orange wheat beer. Uh, 5% alcohol by volume, 500 milliliters. <sighs> Let's get into this, shall we? Um, to be kind to people new to the Weiss beer style, they talk about the Weiss roll on it, which is putting the bottle on its side and rolling it back and forth a little bit gently before uh, pouring. Helps get the sediment all mixed up. Uh, if you don't like sediment, you could just pour it and not pour the bottom of it and you won't get the sediment but you know what that's where all the nutrients are I know there's a lot of people that say don't drink the sediment it's gonna give you the diarrhea it could give you the diarrhea if it wasn't if it wasn't made properly however that's where all the nutrients in the beer are that's the yeast cultures that's where the nutrients and a lot of the flavor is so I like to drink it myself you don't have to if you don't like to don't do it so it's not an orange bottle it's a brown bottle painted orange Put that over there. Look, it looks the part. It's hazy. It's uh, straw colored. It has a little bit of head. Looks really nice in all honesty. Mostly because I like vices. I, I'm a, a guy that likes a vice. Mm. It has a uh, more citrus scent to it this year than it did last year in all honesty. It uh, does have a lot more scent to it this year. Um, you do get some cilantro, you do get some clove, get a little bit of uh, orange peel, like bitter, bitter orange peel, but you're getting a lot of orange flesh. You're getting a lot of citrus on the nose. Smells good, let's try it. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. I like it and I don't like it at the same time. Um, very citrusy. Lots of citrus fruit on the forefront. Lots of orange peel on the background, a little oily. Um, kind of dead in the middle though, that's where I don't like it. This has so much fragrance and it looks so good and then it kind of is lacking in the taste category. Uh, yeah, it has a lot of orange to it. It doesn't have any cilantro to it. It doesn't have any banana to it. It doesn't have any of the other flavors that you would normally associate with wheat beers other than wheat. Uh, and a little bit of clove. There is a little bit of clove in there. But it's... You get your citrus fruit. And then it kind of just dies. And you get this... Uh, Tasty wheat mouth. Very, very tasty on the first sip. Very tasty on the first few seconds in your mouth. But then it, it just goes away and uh You're left with just you're left with basically an American wheat beer after the citrus is gone. You're left with with wheat. It's like you have a wheat cereal. I don't really care for that, in all honesty. Um, yeah, it, it's a mixture of a, uh, a Bavarian and an American wheat beer. And... It's, it's probably the wheat beer that I've had this year that I could drink the most of. I mean, it's not overpowering in any way. 
and it's not as heavy as most wheat beers, so I could probably chug down a bunch of these, but it's just not flavorful enough for me to go in and enjoy all the time. So this would be a good bar wheat beer. It'd be a wheat beer I could buy a pitcher of and enjoy a pitcher of if they'd sell me a pitcher because not every bar would. But a beer to bring home and enjoy at home? No, I'd, I'd, I'd rather get a... Uh, I'd rather get a plethora of other wheat beers if I'm going to bring it home. A. Inger, uh, Weihenstefaner, uh, Hacker, Pischer, uh, just any of the real German wheat beers, even even Ontario wheat beers. Um, the stuff you can get at Mill Street, the stuff you can get at, uh, at Nickelbrook. I'd rather drink that stuff than this at home. But this is a great bar beer. This is a beer you can go out and enjoy a whole bunch of. That being said, I'd give it a 6.5 because I wouldn't buy it for at home, but I could drink it without complaint. Bye, guys. Cheers.